Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Broke. Yeah. Alright, quick database. I know. I, at the beginning of every set, I'm going to go ahead and look at it. Alright, let's see what we have. We have Tonement Sword, Crystal Sword, Long Neck. Yeah, you actually have to get, like, a large assortment of crystals. Uh, crystal swords. If you really want to complete all your items. Kind of a pain. I know I missed, like, a bunch of other things. Hold on. There we go. Clicking on the window. So I have the heart, fruit, and seeds, which is good. I think that's rotten. No, it's a burnt. But yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of... We already have a fair assortment of wings. I don't have hope wings yet. Just won't do. Yeah, the music box. Um... And our voice list is still very neglected. I'll have to put them together to actually do a coherent story. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that. I still have Unstoppable. After taking 5,000 plus damage from meta beings. Nice. Special Hunter. Beat the Neurotar after appearing 300 plus. Okay. Unforgettable, conversation with your brother, distant spirit. Yeah, I think you get distant spirit no matter what you do in the beginning. Alright. Yeah, cocked toe head. And I think that's the only new enemy. Because I think the moons, I think the goldfish are still listed as moons. <clears throat> I know enemies repeat themselves a little bit, but... Considering how much damage they do. Yeah, Johanna Kion. Don't understand that. Yeah, cherub. I want a little cherub that gives me stuff. It's like, I want a monster, and it just pulls one out of the fridge. It's like, beep, blah, 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 blah. Ah, I need a sip of monster and cranberry juice, which isn't that bad. Hopefully the tower is a little deeper, even though it kind of sucks to have to play so deep, but like to record going that far because it's a lot of repeating itself. But it'll be worth it. No. No. Kind of hoping for a twin box. All right, map, I need you. Come to me. Let me touch you. Come on. Don't be a fuss pot. There we go. The window keeps clicking out. It's kind of bothering me. And by bothering me, I mean pissing me off. <clears throat> My throat's a little raw, so... So I can just look at everything that I have. It's called port bones. I think not. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Are you goddamn serious? Hey! Thank you. Blind and lethargic. Annoying. I really need a twisted coat or something helpful. I probably watch this playthrough, I won't get one at all. Either way, I'm probably going to send back the lethargic parasite. Uh, 
just so that way in case I get like a good status protection coat. Is there no other escapes from this room? Another glass coat. I'm getting glass coats like it's my job. Let's see what this coat is. I don't really need a calm, calm mood. Cremation sword, not all that helpful. I was gonna say, I can't see where to go, but that's obvious because I'm blind. No! No. No. Oh, let's see what these are. Antidote? No. Okay. Trap panel there. And by trap panel, I mean gigantic electric floor. We'll just go... No. We'll go over this way. Because... Unlucky coat? Hey! So, my next door neighbor who's getting evicted is uh, apparently throwing like a huge party, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah. I really hate those things. It's just kind of funny because it's like, you're already getting thrown out for doing something you're not supposed to be doing, so now you're going to throw a huge party. Just not really the brightest. He also has, like, like, I go off on tangents when I talk, but he'll just, like, not even go off on tangents, he'll just, like, like, totally that, like, bro talk thing where he's, like, I mean, he's not a bro, he's kind of, like, a hipster, I guess, but not, like, he doesn't dress like a hipster, he's, like, he's a music kid, let's just say that. He's really into music. Um... And anyway, you'll be like, yeah, so I went down to this store the other day, and he'll just he'll just be like, oh, that's cool. I got a new drum. Or he'll like say say something that's completely unrelated to the topic. And it's just kinda like, uh, okay, sure. Twin box. Fuck you. I thought I had another twin box. Mild disappointment. I'm still pissed about that gold bone the other day. Anyway, uh. Oh. There's three of you. Uh, that's... No, I'm keeping the hope wings. I should probably equip the hope wings soon. Uh... Boom bones. I don't know if I want... Actually... Let's see. Are there any suns in here? I don't see any. I'll just remember to go back and get that glass sword. it does make fighting the sun guys a lot easier. You! Fatty testicle hat. Give me twin box. That is not a twin box. I am disappointed. <clears throat> I realized I did a lot of <clears throat> bitching yesterday, but I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I had to get out there. Sight isn't really going to be that helpful. If I really need it, I'll go back and get it. Special fluid is much better. I 
I would appreciate you. You gotta love recorded or registered products. Oh, come on. I know it's recording, so don't be fussy. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Once again, into the 10. I'm about ready just to start doing 10 minute videos and then uh, delete them after. Uh, you know what? What don't I need? I don't. I have two glass coats, apparently. How about we just go ahead and equip a glass coat right now? Oh, a cure blindness parasite. That's very helpful. And I'm not being sarcastic with that. I'm being 100% serious. Alright. I don't have a port yet, so... Oh yeah, I can keep eating derp. See what the sweat bones have done to me? They've conditioned me. Still short. By how much? Too much. Let's see. Yeah! Awesome. That is so awesome. It's, I was kind of hoping that would be something else, but that is so epically awesome. I can't even start. I do like that enemies can hurt each other. I've always appreciated that in games. I'd understand if it was like a fireball. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I have a burnt heart. And then all I have is rotten meat, so that's not really gonna help me. Let's just use some bone bones. To bad filth. Silver bone. Fuck yeah. And a crappy twin sword. Don't want that. Oh, fuck her. No twin sword to the face. Dodged it all, baby. <gasps> Prevents all ailments but confusion and stomach ache. Oh, I'll wear the glass coat until I find something like another one of those guys. So I guess that... Oh, Fire Breath. I oh, no, Fire Breath is worthless because I have the Identify. Only one way out of this room. Next time I encounter another sun, I'm going to go ahead and equip that coat. I am going to send that blind... I'm pretty sure Fused Parasites count as both. Don't care. Twisted Code is pretty boss looking though. Come on. Get somewhere we can show its bosses. It's like the Fallen Angel Coats. Not at all what I wanted you to do. No, you get back here, you creepy little bastard. I said, get back here. And he is really an ass. Yeah, you know I'm gonna kick your ass. Ugh, did I really want a revolution? I see you. You can't escape me. <laughs> now these floors will go a lot faster. Now that I'm now no longer lethargic all the time. Ignore the mouse so you can see it. I don't know why the window goes idle after a little while. It kinda bothers me. Not much I can do about it though. 
I kind of wish there'd be an update to make this emulator run smoother. Or at least with less memory hogging. Uh, revolution is crap! This cookie's junk! Let's have another silver bone. <clears throat> you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have kept that beast coat from earlier, the one that had all the defense ups and stuff. I mean, this one's not great on defense. See the difference. Seven, nine. Oh, actually, the twisted coat is pretty damn good. Right, we have a lot of crap down there we haven't looked at. And it makes it a lot easier because I don't have to worry about getting slowed down. You don't understand how happy that makes me. Or maybe when you throw the parasites back, it's only like the one that it was fused to. I don't know. If I could replay this game and do re redo this LP, there'd probably be a few things that would change. But, I mean, granted I did get really lucky with a lot of my drops. Especially, like, all the... getting the protector and the me brands and all that kind of shit. I mean, I did pretty well for myself. No, don't do that hit. I just tap my thumb too fast. This controller doesn't like it. I wish I could turn like the read speed higher, but I think the controller is just dumb in the inside. Like it can only read certain reactions, or like, like where it's like it needs at least like three seconds off of the key, or like you know 0.5 seconds off the key in order for it to read. But I'm used to PlayStation controllers, especially PlayStation 2 controllers, where you could like depress it almost all the way down and then just lightly move your finger or like move your finger back and forth and you can rapidly tap the hell out of the buttons. And like awful ones, like I loved being able to rapid tap Sega Genesis buttons but I really hated that uh, the, the six button joystick um, that I ended up getting with the turbo fire and everything, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the buttons couldn't be rapid pressed because they were like arcade buttons. And I, that's the one thing I really hate about arcade buttons is they're not geared towards like real rapid button pressing. Because like most people will like tap really quick with their fingers on arcade buttons, but in the time it takes you to lift your finger up, you've already wasted an amount of time. It's like watching that guy who's one of the fastest typers, and he does like some StarCraft move per minutes thing. He's like this crazy Korean dude, and he just like beasts out on the keyboard, and he doesn't lift his hands up ever, which is pretty damn awesome. I also saw him using one of the like double tracked laser mouse, where it's like a laser mouse and has like a little nubbin on the side, so you can move around inside that. And I think he has, like, selecting keys for, like, units and stuff put on that, so that way he can get to units faster. But, it was pretty cool. I'd like it, but I hate moving my whole hand around for the mouse. It feels like too much fucking work. Like, with a trackball, I can just... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Like, really, if I could, I'd wish I could just control everything with a... Like, a PS2 controller. But one that had more buttons. Which, by the way, the PS2 keyboard is the biggest piece of shit in the planet. Or the PS3 keyboard, the one that uh, uh, you can put on the top of the controller. The only thing it's nice for is inputting your name in the games. But... 
Hey, guess what? I'm not afraid of you anymore. Hear that? I'm not afraid anymore. Sword. I was planning on throwing it. My phone rang. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Win boxes for me. You guys don't intimidate me. Oh, is that another twin box? Uh, let's do this. Let's take this. Let's toss out the rubber coat for the moment this. pa -ching. Twin box for the win. A trident and a twin sword. How exciting. I wonder who it was who messaged me. I'm gonna pause the video real quick while I check. Okay. Sorry about that. I was just telling uh, Delirious about the guy getting thrown out. Kind of funny. I don't know. A lot of people who are like young and in college, because he's uh, he has a fake ID, so I imagine he's like 19 or 20. <clears throat> I always think it's funny how like even when I was that age, I wasn't that stupid. Like he just like dug a hole in the backyard and made a fire. Like <gasps> no ways. I have all this glass shit. I really need to just get rid of it. But I kind of want to throw it to, uh, um, fuck, yeah, try and nuke it up, to, uh, the Cursebringer Angel. Yep. This sword can be absolutely ridiculous if you can keep it for a very, very, very long time. Which I may keep one, uh, with me, and just give it a whole bunch of attack fluids because you just start draining hit points like a monster. I wish it drained vitality. I wish there was a vampire vitality sword. But, uh, yeah, it gets pretty ridiculous later on. I mean, after two or three tower runs, it's pretty much an unstoppable thing. I really need the goddamn Cursebringer Angel right fucking now. You know what? Yeah, I can regenerate my hip points. I'm not worried about that. <gasps> Look what it is! Let's throw back the vampire sword. I probably should have thrown Judgment or the Littles. Probably Judgment. I don't need to send any of that glass stuff back. Glass stuff is surprisingly common. I'm probably going to send the blind left parasite back just to see what uh, the database gives me for it. And I have another... Oh shit. Little's crystal. God, I love the music here. Let's just take a second. I don't know what it is. Something about that music and just like fitting into this whole tower and this whole nightmare of a world and there's just this one calm sanctuary. Something about it almost brings me to tears. If I were him, I'd just chill out there, listen to music for a couple hours instead of going out and dying again and again and again and again. Whatever, I have a vampire sword. Another twin sword. Too many twin swords. 
I'll show you what the twin swords look like. I'm gonna check them first just to make sure I don't get glue branded with twin swords, which kind of sucks. But it's pretty awesome. The vampire sword looks pretty cool too. It's nothing all that special. I mean, I do love my defender. It is like one of the best weapons. There are really only like two or three other swords that I consider better. Like Crystal Sword is pretty damn boss. You fucks. And uh either the because I think there's a triple yeah, there's a triple E sword. The triple E sword is pretty awesome if you do like a combo parasite and either a comet or you know some other para like some other strong parasite. Oh no, you don't. I need food. I need meats. What are you? Uh, another fire breath? God damn. Enough of the fire breath. I don't really need that ever. Sounds like there's a Ghostbusters truck going by. Like how the Ghostbusters has that like weird extra high pitched whine. This kinda sounds like that. Like it doesn't sound like a traditional ambulance. Kinda weird. Oh now it does. Maybe it's just really far away. Well, I don't really need a special food anymore. Oh yeah, it feels so good. Why do I have so much good stuff and can't do anything with it? Story of my life. I didn't pay I threw that shit out earlier. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that there was another exit down there. Great. Now I have to walk all the way the fuck back. Or at least I have this long hallway that takes me, like, right... Express route right down there. So I don't have to go through, like, waving rooms to get through. There'll probably be, like, a whole another section of the map down there. The maps never get too big in this, which I like. Like, they're big enough to give you room to explore, but they're not, like, absurdly huge where you spend, like, 30 minutes just trying to figure out where the goddamn exit is or you end up starving to death by the time you get back to the port. Vampire sword. Man. Don't like that. 
Well, now I can hope. All I can hope for is a me brand. Well, that was just a big waste of hit points. I don't really care. I, mean, I want more health, and I have another Cheerio. Huh? Heal for 107. I thought they only healed for 99. You! Out of my way. Give me a recovery tablet and die. You're worthless. I took the longest route possible, didn't I? I think I did. Ugh. It's always weird how the floor sounds like it's hollow. Makes me feel like I can fall through it at any minute. Oh, I need to sip my drink. Oh. Alright, 8 out of 15, so I can feel free to throw whatever I want back. I need to throw the new little crystal, Little's crystal back. First, because the littles are rather important. Don't want that. I don't care for that, sir. What do you think you're dancing off to? Toasty. Dropping so many flame plates. It'd be better if the big nutsack head guys came and dropped twin boxes. I would appreciate that a lot. The one thing I do like is that this game essentially becomes easier and more accessible as you go. But you kind of have to know what you're getting in order to get there, but. At least it's not one of those games where the difficulty is always on, like, hard mode. Mostly difficulties on, like, like, goddammit mode. Goddammit. No, I said you go to hell and you die. Fire Breath. Oh, Exploding Brand. Yeah, never throw Fire Breath at an enemy. Especially not Silver Bones. I think Silver Bones give them Fire Breath and they just chase you around with it. And that shit hurts a lot, unless you're wearing like a fire coat. Then it's not so bad, but it still hurts like a fuck. Why is it always in the room as far as away? It's like I pick the worst branch to take. Every single time. Actually, I think you can throw the fire with branding. I think it's maybe just the silver bones you can't throw back. I'm getting one of those moments like when you play a really good game and your eyes get like so fixated on the game that you go to look at anything else and everything else looks like distorted and fake. I don't know if you ever get that. Like, I got that really hardcore from Skyrim. I stayed up one night, all night, playing Skyrim. And then I went to drive a car, and I was like, oh, What the fuck is this? I was, like, freaked out. I thought I, like, completely learned, forgot how to drive for a moment. It's kind of awesome, but also kind of terrifying. I no longer fear you. Asshole. Ah. 
killed your friend. I don't need a life coat. I hate what a long duration it is for to hit them after they come out of the web. It's kind of annoying. No, it's frustrating. It's like, I know I'm swinging at you, can you please just hit? Eros. Can you? I'd rather hold meat than unnecessary branding. My singing is off key and terrible. Suffer! Suffer! I can stand in poison all day. Ha <laughs> ha. Heroes, get out. Get out. <gasps> A gold bone. Game, you love me, don't you? You're just. You're giving it back because you screwed me over at the gold bones earlier. Look at all you big headed sassy freaks. It's only danger with enemies dropping plates, you never know what you're gonna get with them. You've already seen me die to other plates that enemies step on. Like that one time when I summoned everything and summoned a flame plate and killed me. Made my ass. Long map is long. Literally, that's it. Just one long gauntlet to nothing. They're at least expected like some Churio or something. Something to quench my meat thirst. Not like that. I also like that this game can build these maps pretty quickly. It's not like you're waiting through any loading period or anything. It's like you're Apparently a meta being being poisoned. And this one stepped in slime somewhere. Nothing of use. Just me and my footsteps. Want a sip of water? I'm sure it's safe. I'm sure it's water. No. You're not allowed to do that, because that's the only thing I don't have a problem with. That's the only thing I don't have a cure for. So it's not acceptable to hit me with the only status effect that I don't have a cure for. It's not fair. Or right, or okay with me. What does the gold bone do outside of normal circumstances? Explodes the room. Probably means like kills everything, including you. Probably for the Wii version, they added like a platinum bone that gives you the you win the game box. I don't know if the Wii mode is easier or harder. That's why I would feel like a total dingus sitting here slashing at the screen like some sort of tarred baby. I never understood that. Like, 
why people think motion gaming is really some kind of future. Like, I understand if you're doing, like, a golf game or a sports game, but, like, why would I need to hold up something in a first-person shooter like I'm actually holding a gun? Like, then that just becomes, like, a masturbation fantasy to me. Like, I wish I could hold a real gun and shoot it. Which is not always the goal. People like realism to an extent. I don't need to have whatever arm cramps freaking Link gets every time he, you know, goes and gets out of a dungeon. Like, oh, my shoulder's torn out of socket from all that swinging. But we'll discuss this in the next episode of Let's Play Baroque with me, Morak Dies. See you later.